Hi, my name's Michael and I'm the creator of the Spline Base Blocking and Trigger Volume. As the name suggests, SBB TV is a spline based system designed to help you quickly and easily set up volumes for blocking the player and for use in triggers. This can save you a huge amount of time when compared with Unreal Engine's standard approach for these systems. Included in SBB TV is support for passive blocking volumes or invisible walls as they are often called, an active blocking volume that will bounce the player away from it as well as any other actors if configured to do so, such as this ball. And of course, trigger volumes that can be used to track players entering or exiting locations, such as in this case where we are tracking if the player is on the path or not. Each of these volume types are highly configurable, with the ability to block specific collision channels, alter their in-game appearance or make them invisible, and even support one-way collision with a system to detect what side of the volume the player is on at the time they overlap with it. Most of this functionality can, of course, be achieved in the engine with Epic's native systems, but those systems require you to place blocky volumes and try to bash them together to get nice results. Using a spline is significantly quicker, gives you more control and prevents bad collision issues at runtime. As you can see in this level, there are a large number of blocking volumes to prevent the player from leaving the play area. These all had to be made and placed by hand, and while it does the job, it took quite some time and there are instances where the result is not ideal such as here where the corners of the volumes aren't quite lined up and the player could get stuck. To demonstrate how easily you can get nice smooth collision up and running with SBB TV, let's take a look at how quickly we can block off this fence line here. All I have to do is drop in the spline volume actor and start shaping it using the spline handles. Once the spline has been shaped, I can configure it however I want, making the collision align more closely to the spline, or sacrificing some fidelity of the curve to simplify its collision. And that's it, it's really that easy. The spline based blocking and trigger volume includes support for procedural content, is made with blueprints that are easy to read and learn, and has detailed documentation that is available to all without the need for Discord verification. If you have any questions about SBB TV, please feel free to join the Dapper Raptor Development Discord, reach out to me via email, or simply leave a comment below this video. Thanks for watching.